Good morning, Mr. Ambassador. Nice to meet you. How are you today? Good, very good. Thank you for accepting my interview. Thank you for your invitation. So, as I know, this is your second time to be the Chilean ambassador in China. So, how do you feel coming back to China again? Efectivamente, esta es mi segunda vez como embajador acá en China. Fui embajador entre el año 2010 y 2014. De ahí me fui a Chile, pero seguí viniendo a China tres y cuatro veces al año porque yo produzco muchas cerezas que exporto hacia China y vino que también exporto a China. Me siento muy contento, primero que nada, porque ya esta es como mi segundo hogar y estamos cumpliendo ya 50 años de relaciones diplomáticas entre nuestros dos países. Nuestros dos presidentes han hablado por teléfono en este año en múltiples oportunidades para trabajar en conjunto los temas de la pandemia del COVID-19 y trabajar en los temas comerciales. Y eso me tiene muy contento porque si bien es cierto, hoy día China tuvo un decaimiento en su economía el primer trimestre, hoy día está trabajando muy fuerte, ha renacido el trabajo y la economía se ha recuperado y entre Chile y China las exportaciones al mes de octubre han aumentado un 12,8% en circunstancias que al resto del mundo han decrecido. Por eso yo estoy muy contento de estar aquí y más en este mercado Hishou Market World Sale que de alguna manera vende tanta fruta chilena. Okay. I know you are also a fruit grower in Chile. Yes. So what kind of fruit do you grow? I produce cherries, nectarine, plums, yeah, and a lot of wine. But uh, for China, I send in a lot of cherry every year, yeah. But today I am only ambassador. It's impossible to make business. Okay. So can you tell me what is your favorite Chilean fruit? My favorite Chilean fruit is the cherries. Same yeah. like Chinese. Ah. Uh, Same like Chinese. Yes. No, and because yeah, I am an old grower yeah, uh, of cherries. Yeah. My first time in China was an uh, entrepreneur yeah, to visit your cherries plantation yeah, in Yantai, Shandong province. And I visited in 1992 yeah, and then discovered that we have a huge uh, potential here in China. Mm. Not only for the cherry, for all the fruits. Mm. By that time, there's not much business between Chile and China. No, it's impossible. Where is Chile? In America, near to United States? No, in South America. No, 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 no. It's impossible that the fruits arrive to China. For this reason, my two business broken immediately. Mm. And my first business I'm making in 1996, that is sending my first container of table grapes here. Mm. And then in 1999, I create a demonstrative farm from Chile in China, near to Beijing, 85 kilometers from Beijing. And we plant in there table grapes, cherries, plum, nectarine, yeah, uh, peaches, yeah, uh, a lot, and blueberries, mm. yeah, and then beginning to working with China. Okay, that place is also where the former Chilean Expo Pavilion was moved to, right? Yes, I said one of the best pavilion in, in Shanghai. And the pavilion will stay there forever in China? Yes. Okay. I know you're also the chairman of Feta Fruta. So can you explain me what is the Feta Fruta, what the Feta Fruta do for the Chilean fruit industry? The Feta Fruta is the Chilean Fruit Grower Federation. We have a lot of growers yeah, that stay joining in the Feta Fruta. But today, the grower beginning to export directly. Mm. And we have a lot of exporters that are grower first, exporter again, and sending a lot of product to China. This is the most bigger organization in Latin America. I was president in two times, yeah, 
more than 10 years, I stay a president of the Chilean fruit grower in Feder Fruta. Mm. I know, like in the past, many, uh, very little people in China, China know about Chile. Like my mother know Chile because of Chilean cherry. Uh -huh. I don't know how about the Chilean people. How do they know about the China? Do they know more about China because of the business growing between two countries? Yes. The, the people in Chile, yeah, today know very well what is China. China is our first partner in commercial trade. I am very happy because when I arrived at my first period as ambassador here, China was our partner number 10. And today, China is our first partner in commercial trade, duplicated our second partner yeah, as United States. So now economic relationship between China and Chile is very close, very tight. It's a very close, yeah. And now we have a very good news in 2019. We deeper, yeah, and removing, renew one, yeah, the free trade agreement than beginning to work with another topic. E-commerce today is very important. In 2005, when the, we signed the agreement, mm -hmm. we don't know nothing about the e-commerce, which are nothing, yeah. For this reason, we need to involucrate now e-commerce. We make improve the investment topic that is the reason that now you have a lot of foreign investment from China in Chile. Uh, do you think it will be a good investment for Chinese people to invest in Chilean cherry farms? Yes, not only in cherry farm. You know, Chile is a mining country. We have the most bigger reserve in copper and lithium, the principal component to the batteries for the electromobility is very important for us. But we improve a lot in the agricultural sector, and we have a lot of Chinese companies that are going to invest in Chile. One of the best of the, at the beginning, in my first period, Joy Bio. You mm -hmm. know Joy Bio yes. is an important company and invests a lot of money in farm and producing cherries and blueberry in our country and delivery in China. But not only in, in, uh, in fresh fruit, the Big company Changyu from Jiantai, yeah, one of the most bigger winery in China. They buy a lot of winery in Chile that produce wine in Chile and deliver it to China. Yes, sounds very nice. And I know Chile is the first country in South America to establish the diplomatic relation with China in 1970s. Yep. And like you mentioned, we're going to celebrate the 50th anniversary, yep. right? So that's long before we have the business. Uh -huh. So can I say we are friends before we are business partners? Yep. And uh, I think the uh, stable political relationship between two countries is assuring the business between us. So how do you comment about the politics and the business between two countries? Today, yeah, at the beginning, the relationship yeah, was a uh, cultural relationship. And today, China is our first partner in commercial trade, and we have a lot of huge opportunity. Mm. In the case of the cherry, for example, yeah, in 2010, yeah, the people in Chile never send in cherry to China because they say, ah, it's so far, yeah, probably damage the product. I pick up my own cherries, and sending in 2010, in this year we had for around 500,000 US dollars. So you and take, mine yeah. is 400,000. <laughs> so you take the risk and show to the people in Chile that we should send to this market, and it proved to be right. Yes, and for this reason, I am very happy. Yeah, because we have a lot of new opportunity. You know, you have a big problem with the pork meat production. Not enough. The case of the pork meat is one. The case of the salmon, normally the people say, no, it's for Norway, but normally it's for Chile. Yeah, Chile yeah. has more the volume. Yes, yeah, we have more volume compared mm. with Norway. Mm. For this reason, I some products that they not have image. Yeah, the cherry, they have image, yeah, because you buy a lot of cherries. Yeah, but normally arrive it to the table 
not with sherry that uh, say something from Chile, but the people know because we export the last year 1.7 billion US dollar from sherry to China. Mm. So with the already bigger business, do you think uh, in the future it will grow even bigger? Does Chile has capacity to produce more for the Chinese people? We try. Chile today is staying located in 13 or 14, there are country in the world that produce food. Mm. And it's very incredible because Chile is a small country, only 18 million of population, and we are staying in the 13 or 14 step in the producer of food in the world. We think in the next five years, we achieve to top 10, yeah. I would like to congratulate you for your work to enhance the business relationship between the two countries. And I wish you have another successful turn as ambassador in China. Thank you. Thank you so much because I enjoy a lot yeah, stay in China. I feel it's my second home. I am very happy because in my first period, I opened a consulate in Guangzhou, mm. in Canton province. Now we open a new consulate in Chengdu. For this reason, we have a consulate here in Shanghai, another in Beijing, another in Hong Kong, another in Guangzhou, another now in Chengdu. Five consulates. That I, today I stay very happy to stay in China. And today I come in very happy to the Wishan market because I come in a lot of time. I remember the first time I say, sometime in this market you have a lot of fruit and you are directive of the market, say, hey, Luis, difficult. <laughs> but when you visit the market, today we have cherry, we have uh, plums, we have uh, kiwi fruit. For this reason, I am very happy to visit again. In one week, this market or the major markets in China for imported fruit will turn to Chilean cherry market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you so much Thank you. for Thank you. your interview. Thank you. Yeah.